Okay, we'll move on to the next species, cedar. Uh, we, we have a, uh, a couple, well, about three species in the majority of the state. There's, you go out to West Texas, there's some other species of cedar. This one right here that we've got in the ground, this is blueberry juniper or ash juniper, and it's a non-sprouting species, okay? That's a good thing. And when I'm in the hill country, which is part of my territory, and people will say, I got, you know, my biggest problem is, is cedar, you know, blueberry cedar, I say, ah, you're, you're lucky. Come on down to South Texas with me, where we got some real tough brush. This stuff is easy to kill. Okay, this plant right here, though, this is redberry juniper. And the reason we can't kill it as easily uh, is because right here where my hand is, that's, that's the bud zone. It's kind of a ball, okay? And you can see how all these sprouts are coming out of this. Uh, I picked this up out in Sutton County. And so that's what's below ground and that's your target, okay, on, on the red berry. Okay, so we've got uh, several methods we can use on the cedar. One is uh, a leaf spray with uh, Tordon 22K and we mix the Tordon 22K at 1%. Uh, we, we put the, the surfactant in there at a quarter percent, the dye in there at a, at a quarter to half a percent, depending on what you, what you like. The plant size needs to be under three feet for economics. It does, it's every foot of height you, you add to the tree doubles your cost, okay? And the reason is, We've got a dense leaf canopy here, and we've really got to, we've got this one, if you look, look in Brush Busters, it says spray to the point, to the point of runoff. This one, you want, you want it soaked. And because you've got all that dense uh, leaf there, area there. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and, and spray this. And basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna paint this plant. <laughs> yeah, okay. I think we probably got that one painted well enough. It took me probably twice as long or more to paint this one than it did to do the mesquite. Okay, so it's because of the leaf area that we've got. Uh, so that's, that works for the red berry, it works for the, for the ash, the leaf spray does. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I killed it already. It's dead already. Okay. They told us not to dig too deep in the arena here. So we took them at their word. All right. So that's basically what you do with the leaf spray. You got to have those, the, the Tordon 22K, the surfactant, and the dye, and uh, you paint the plant. Okay. Uh, Alan mentioned uh, this bladder and the spot gun. Okay, what we're gonna, what we use this with is this product right here called Velpar. And we use that undiluted. And what we do is for every Height, uh, well, for every three feet of height or canopy diameter, we'll use two cc's or two milliliters of that undiluted Velpar. And what we would do is we would squirt it on the ground uh, between the stem and the outer uh, canopy. This, uh, this plant right here would only require one, one squirt. If we had more than three feet, we'd need two squirts, and what we would do is we'd go on one side with one, on the other side with the other one. If you're on a slope, you wanna apply the herbicide above it, upslope, okay? Now, I wanna tell you something. In the area I work in, I never talk about this. 
because this will this will kill an oak just as easily as it'll kill a juniper. So if you decide to use this, you need to understand you've got to stay at least three drip, three drip lines away from a desirable plant. And if you're upslope, you got to stay even further than that. And where I work in the hill country, I ask people, can you stay away from your neighbors that far? Because that's really where you're going to get in trouble. Three drip lines, yeah. You remember the treaty oak? Okay, this is what was hit. What hit the treaty oak it was Velpar. Okay, so I mean it's a very good chemical. It works, in my opinion, it works out, out in Sutton County and out in the western part of my district. It's good out there. Uh, we get close in bigger populations, denser populations. I don't like to talk about it. So I don't like things to come back to bite me. <laughs>